hi gym gems welcome back guys i hope you all are doing well today this is going to be for anybody with um gemini placements in that chart make sure you all flip and switch the roles take what resonates leave what doesn't fit for your situation thank you all so much for your love and your support and your donations i'm sending you all peace love happiness joy and light on your journey um anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box and please be aware the fake page is on here and on any other social media platform okay gemini so let's see what's going on, Gem Gems. <clears throat> Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. What is going on for my Gem Gems? Mm, the Tower of Babel, the Devil, and the, the Three of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. What's going on for my Gem Gems? Okay, the world. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, 909 on the clock. You could be seeing those synchronicities. What else? Okay, the Empress in reverse, Taurus, Libra. Hmm, what else? There's a distorted feminine here. Or you're not really feeling too confident about a change that's happening, a new beginning that's happening for you. We got the star, that's Aquarius. There's a wish coming true. There's a positive outcome or a positive turnaround in a situation with the star. Some of you guys' faith is being tested in a situation. You could be healing from dealing with an empress in reverse. This could be somebody's child's mother, or this could be your own mama or daddy. You know, it could be any damn body. Okay, they just embody the, the feminine energy. So it could be a man just in feminine energy. But if some sort of cycle is closing out. Let's see. And there's a new beginning here that maybe you don't feel too confident about it. Okay, yeah, Five of Pentacles towards Mercury. Okay, yeah, the devil <laughs> under the Empress in reverse. Capricorn. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Seven of Wands, bottom of the deck. So I'm gonna have a Capricorn Mars here. Something is being dealt with by your um it's like your spirit team, Gemini. Yeah, it's something that you can't see, maybe. I feel like someone is healing. You could be healing. You've learned a lot from your past mistakes, or this could be somebody in your energy. But this Three of Pentacles is teamwork, collaboration. You could be getting ready to work with a big star, an up-and-coming star. You could be working on becoming a star. That could be just what's in your birthright. Like some of y'all could be seen in a public eye. You could be a healer, astrologer. You could be very, very spiritual. Um, you could do anything. I don't know. But you could be getting ready to collab with someone. Okay. Or something. But let's see. I don't know who the fuck this Empress in Reverse is, but they're toxic. What's the world spirit? 9-11 on the clock. What's the world? I just thought about some bourbon chicken. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Somebody's eating bourbon chicken or you want that? I want something from the mall, honey. <laughs> like, now y'all making me hungry. Okay, what's the world? <laughs> what's the world here? Okay, the chariot. This could indicate travel. Some of y'all might have to travel for work. I was getting to, there's an ending and a new beginning. There's an ending for this Five of Pentacles energy. Just feeling left out in the cold or struggling with your finances. There's about to be a change. Some of y'all might have to travel for work. Okay, what's the, the world with the chariot? You could be dealing with a cancer. But I feel like, okay, yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> Somebody could be speaking negatively online or gossiping, okay? But the Queen of Swords in reverse is like someone that's very manipulative, controlling, bitter, overbearing. They talk too much. So a cycle could be closing out with this bitter, insecure-ass person, okay? This could be somebody's ex-fiance, ex-husband, whatever. Ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, mother, whatever the case may be. Oh. What's the what's the um Queen of Swords in reverse? I just heard something. 
that yeah look wow i cannot make it up the world and the empress Something happened here with your fertility or you being able to create something, uh, Gemini. It's unblocked. There was some, some, something had a hold on your sacral energy where you were not able to be... Some of y'all were having problems with your reproductive system. For some of you, you could, could have been infertile. I don't know what was... I don't know. <laughs> But this could be a cycle closing out, yeah, because the Queen of Swords in reverse is infertile. This could also be somebody that's a horrible mother figure or something like that, too. Oh, let me move down. I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, there's like determination, willpower, drive. You having a sense of direction here. You pushing through whatever these challenges are. So now there's a new beginning because you did that. What's the Empress in Reverse, Spirit? Yeah, the Strength card in Reverse. Leo, what's the Empress in Reverse? <clears throat> Excuse me, in Reverse with the Strength card. Four of Wands. Aries, Venus. Yeah, there's something that, that's going to be celebrated. Six of Cups, the Lovers, the Ace of Wands, the Emperor. This is beautiful. What the fuck? Somebody here has graduated. They've uh, leveled up on their journey. For some of you, this is somebody's a karmic connection that they had or somebody that someone was attached to that's karmic. Somebody's baby mother or something. Okay, they're, they're closing out a cycle with their baby mama or mother or whoever, baby daddy. It could be any damn body. But the four of wands is like a goal being achieved. This could be a celebration here, a gathering. You could have been living with this person at once upon a time. Or they live around you. They live somewhere around you. Ew. <laughs> but, okay. That's probably why some of y'all could be moving and getting the fuck on. I would advise. But, um, you know, you got to do shit in divine timing. What's the strength card in reverse? The strength card in reverse, definitely, yeah, it talks about somebody that's insecure. They're, uh, they have low self-esteem. They lack confidence. Somebody that is at a really vulnerable state and nothing wrong with vulnerability but i feel like somebody what's the strength card in reverse yeah five of wands leo mm. somebody here wants to fight like somebody is fighting arguing bickering this person mm, what's this four of wands Okay, yeah, Page of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be getting approved for a home. Okay, definitely could be celebrating a child. Congrats. But this is you or this person here jumping into some sort of opportunity. Okay, I'm also getting... Somebody could be watching you through divination. They're, they're doing some sort of spying on you. This is a distorted feminine, but they could be a man. Okay, so flip the roles. It doesn't have to be a woman. But they're spying on your home, your union. For some of you, this is a twin flame union, or you're going into some sort of soulmate connection, or you've leveled up on your, your spiritual journey, or you've gotten a new home, new car, whatever. But somebody has gotten some sort of truth about you, and they're sad about it. Yeah, three of pentacles and the devil. So they went to go get their what? Their coven and their fucking... Uh, coven of witches or whatever the fuck to do some work on you <laughs> like that's what i was getting i'm just waiting to see it because bitch i know what this is somebody here has been pulling on your sacral energy what's the four of wands with the page of pentacles this person somebody is really yeah like i didn't i say that what i say i said that nine of cups That's sex, that's birth, that's conception, that's fame, recognition. It's like somebody was trying to sacrifice you here. Some of y'all are, um, you've conceived by your divine masculine, the emperor in the tower. <laughs> this person is shocked to see that this, that you have a divine masculine or they knew that you had one, but maybe you've been with the wrong people or something. But this is like self-care, self-love, you pulling back your energy and really focusing on you. Okay, I feel like you've met somebody or you're going to. There's going to be some sort of offer coming in that's going to bring wish fulfillment. And I really feel like it's going to fuck somebody's whole setup up. Whatever this is, 
whatever this is right here is getting ready to be dismantled. Yeah, five of swords. I, you know, I feel like somebody was really using you energetically for something of their own. Maybe to keep up some sort of stability and security with this empress in reverse. I feel like this person has been trying to keep someone. There's like a third party in your energy that's been trying to make someone feel secure because they're jealous of you. So to make this person feel secure, there's like a third party to talk shit about you. To make this person feel secure, they they make you feel bad or hurt you or, or be mean to you or something like that. Somebody that's too weak to stand on their own fucking own to stand on their own and be independent of being a fucking follower. Somebody's a follower. They're not a leader at all. And this conflict is fighting. What's the five of wands? Somebody is called. I feel like too, I'm getting this energy where somebody just needs your energy. They need you to fight with them, argue with them to keep use to keep you out of alignment with something. What's the five of wands? And it's not working. Yeah, the queen of pentacles. This could be somebody that someone's married to. They're invested in this person already. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Hangman, and the Seven of Swords. Or somebody's in competition with you with what you do for work. You could be a healer. You could be a white witch, too, for some of you. Some of you, if you classify as that. 919 on a clock, 1122 on a timer. Somebody is weak without your energy. That's what I'm getting with this. I'm telling you. And whatever somebody was doing here to manifest off you or whatever, it's not working. It's not working. What's the star? What's the star? Yeah, page of wands. I'm telling you, for some of you, it's a child here that's getting ready to be born. So you got good news. Okay, this could be also a new creative project, a new um, creative venture. This could be you feeling enthused and excited about something. But this could be a text, phone call, email, or a confirmation of something that's coming in. It's going to be good news. What's the star with the page of wands? Yeah, the five of pentacles. <laughs> Taurus, Mercury. Okay, we got two fives here. You could be saying five, five or five, five, five. Yeah, somebody, bro, I'm telling you, whoever this is, somebody's trying to hide the fact that they sacrificed you with a group of people. I'm telling you, this is some sort of sacrificial thing that they did. 1232 on the timer, one, two, three, four on the, on the timer. You could be seeing those synchronicities. But yeah, that could be confirmation for a lot of you. But yeah, I feel like somebody was... They're trying to get away with something and it's not working. You see them for who they are. Yeah, Page of Swords, Four of Pentacles. This is somebody that's been trying to keep holding on to your fucking energy as you're moving forward on your journey. I feel like somebody here really has been preying on you. P-R-E-Y, not P-R-A-Y. <laughs> that's sad. What's the Five of Pentacles right here? definitely um somebody has been blocking your creative expression as well you could be really really spiritual okay <clears throat> you could be maybe in a past life you were um sacrificed or burned at the stake for being a witch this is what i'm hearing for some of you what's the five of pentacles yeah look ace of ace of cups yeah, blocking your fertility, your abundance. What's the without you, they don't have the abundance. Yeah, the devil. Without you, they don't have this. Yeah, look. The the star, the queen of wands, the king of wands, the nine of wands. I feel like this king of wands, queen of wands is a karmic couple. Two of swords and the ten of wands. Now they're at a stalemate. I don't know. It's something about their reputation or something that they do. I feel like they could be spiritual too, but they're seen in the light when they're really dark. Somebody is hiding their they're hiding who they are. I can read I can read the energy. I'm not really I'm looking at the cards too to help me interpret things, but the energy is what I'm getting. These these people here were manifesting off you. These could be two people that do sex magic with the King of Wands, Queen of Wands off your star energy. It's like they were using your shit here to, to come up. Yeah, the devil. Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation. <laughs> Ace of Wands, thank you again for further confirmation that I just saw. I don't know where that shit was. But I seen it. What's the uh five of pentacles right here with the ace of cups? Yeah, page of swords. Yeah, this, these people here they watch you. They manifest abundance off of you. Definitely your fertile energy, your sacral for sure is what I'm getting. That's that's crazy. What I like. <sighs> I 
feel like somebody's watching you they realize that you have a new beginning and they're going to be left out in the cold just period like they're watching you they're studying you they're they want to play these little mind games what's this page of wands right here yeah look the emperor in reverse <laughs> mm. so this was an attack on you here divine feminine for some of you it doesn't have to be who does emperor in reverse you can have a child with this bitch Okay, what's the Emperor in reverse? Yeah, the King of Wands here, the Nine of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? The Queen of Wands in reverse. This is an insecure, jealous ass bitch. Okay, like they are that can't manifest anything. But I feel like they use this person to make you jealous and they're having a hard time keeping up. <laughs> they're, whoever did this Nine of Wands here. Somebody's having a really hard time keeping up with trying to maintain this and trying to keep making you look like paint you in a bad light for this bitch to feel better. This queen of wands here in reverse. For some of you guys, you've been having a problem conceiving too. I'm getting something going on with your fertility for sure. Major. I don't, you know. It's because this. Somebody was pulling on your sacred energy because I'm looking at this now. This could be you too, right? You, you could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart or fire sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign. This uh person, this emperor in reverse, for some of you, this could be your baby daddy, baby mama, whatever. They abuse their position of authority. They could use children to do so as well. But this person was pulling on your sacred energy. Now, when, now that I'm seeing it with the page of wands, that is sacral chakra energy. That's fire energy. This person here was trying to make you feel... um insecure or they were causing for, i don't know what else to say they were causing fertility issues somebody here was trying to manifest stability and security for themselves off of you that's that's really sad here it's like I, i'm so serious i think i want to pull my other deck out <laughs> Who does Queen of Wands in reverse? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody, third party. The Hermit could be a Virgo here. The Hermit, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Swords. <laughs> Who does Queen of Wands in reverse with the Three of Pentacles? The King of Swords. Who does King of Wands? They're trying to keep you out of alignment with your counterpart by fucking with your they don't want you to be able to create with your counterpart what's the king of wands with the six of cups five of cups in reverse yeah mm -hmm. yeah page of cups seven of wands the sun the queen of cups you're being protected from someone like heavily yeah two of cups ten of pentacles yeah they don't want you to get this ten of pentacles i feel like you see the truth now ace of swords the higher thing you could be seeing who your counterpart is too but you're seeing something very clear and somebody from your past that you're healing from or getting over you got kids with this stupid bitch they really they they work hard on this too this is some sort of group of people. This is a cult, a coven. They consult with each other. They work together. Somebody here could have sent you a specific person, a third party interference. They sent you a false person. So that way they could to take back, so that way they can have sex with you or use or take something from you to take it back to this cult or coven. That that's what they did. And had your sacral energy blocked. Wow. Yeah, the magician. <laughs> uh, you know, I can't make it up here. Yeah, Virgo Strong, Gemini. Another Gemini could have been involved in this stupid shit. What's the Five of Pentacles right here? Okay, yeah. What I said. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. Disappointment. Disappointing news. Definitely a lack of passion. A lack of uh, infertility. A lack of, like, uh, enthusiasm. What's this uh, delays? Feeling trapped? What's the uh, Five of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands in reverse? <laughs> yeah, the moon child ace of pentacles the hangman the seven of swords somebody here sacrificed you gemini they did who i got that for cancer it came out so clear like this in cancer's reading too uh yesterday cancer pisces whatever but the boon yeah 
Um, somebody is highly disappointed in something because something didn't work. Whatever the shit is that they did this last time, whatever this is around this moon, this Virgo moon or whatever the fuck, the, it didn't work. It's blocked. I saw the seven of cups, seven of wands when I, yeah, seven of cups, seven of wands when I split the deck. This is not working. This illusion, this confusion to keep you stuck in something with other people or to stop you from being with your counterpart, bitch, it's not working. It is not fucking working. What's the moon? Now these people are being left out in the cold and it's switching now. Your situation is turning into the star. There, there's a, a wish coming in, a wish being granted or um, there's a positive outcome to your situation. You've gotten something new or you're getting ready to and it's going to really break whatever this is. What's the moon? What's the moon? This is some crazy shit here. Yeah. Well, I just realized that we got the emperor in reverse with the empress in reverse. <laughs> Four of Swords here with the moon. Hmm. Yeah, this is a karmic couple here. This is a this is you, Empress, as a divine feminine. This is ridiculous. What's the moon with the four of swords? Yeah, look, the star in reverse. <laughs> yeah. That's like feeling hopeless and despair, lost. Okay, bored, uninspired, a bad omen, bad fortune, things not turning in someone's favor. Somebody stressed. <sighs> As they should be, stupid ass. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse? 929 on the clock. You could be saying, what's Ace of Wands in reverse there? They can't manifest now. <laughs> Yeah, four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you released them. You let them go. The control that they had over you is no longer. There's something that's been released here. Whatever was they was using to control your mind or keep you stuck or block your finances or whatever. Whatever they were stealing, four of pentacles in reverse. Because that is a thief, okay? They're a thief of sacral chakra energy. Ace of wands in reverse. They're going to have to let you go, period. What's this ace of wands in reverse with this four of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, four of cups. Yeah, now they're dissatisfied, they're discontent, they're unhappy. I feel like they were making you feel this way, though, at once upon a time. Cancer moon. <laughs> oh, I know what deck I'm going to use. Never mind. Yeah, the devil, the five of swords, the high priestess, the knight of swords. <laughs> the devil, the eight of swords. Yeah, the fool. Mm. the devol <laughs> sorry to go because i'm irritated king of cups everything is fine yeah spirit is letting you know there's a spirit guy here this king of cups every time it comes out now for me this is my spirit guy card this king of cups they could be a healer or psychic this could actually be your person but this could be a very strong spirit guy that you have around you that could i mean or ancestor that passed away an angel whatever this person is letting you know that there was a betrayal yeah you were stabbed in the back multiple times but everything is okay though <laughs> Everything is fine. Or your person is here to remind you that everything is okay and everything is fine. Yeah, because you're getting this Ten of Pentacles and you are going to go on to create and do what you need to do. Like, what's the King of Cups? Yeah, Seven of Swords. What's the King of Cups with the Seven of Swords? Mm -mm -mm. It's really fucking pathetic here. What's the King of Cups with the Seven of Swords? Yeah, the Hangman. Spirit is protecting you from whatever the fuck this is. You could be dealing with a Pisces, an Aquarius... Somebody, these people are trying to sacrifice your sake. Like, they're using your sacral energy. But I feel like it's a certain way they're obtaining it. They're sending... I'm getting like there's third, third parties here. This is some sort of Carl Coven. There's somebody from your past that set you up for this. They sacrificed you to a group of people. And they came up with some sort of plan to send you somebody that's false to use you sexually for some of you. you were For some of you, you were dealing with somebody that possibly you were on and off with they even had a third party they was dealing with somebody already but these are people in a cult or coven that's why they're in some sort of weird ass sex cult or whatever the fuck this is man and they they 
sacrifice they were using your energy to bring back to each other like i know that sounds crazy but it's the truth okay what so your spirit team is is um helping you to align and making you aware of what's going on here there's definitely some sort of devil energy what's the three of pentacles Yeah, Virgo. What's the three of pentacles with the Virgo? I say with the Virgo. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. This could be a warlock here. Sometimes I see the hermit as that. Like somebody, these could be people that wear masks or they wear certain things. When they do their rituals, they dress up in certain ways to do things. <laughs> What's the three of pentacles with the hermit? This shit makes me want to throw up. Stomach, yeah. The high priestess in reverse. Spirit, the, the way that the messages are coming through. I just know my intuition is on point, honey. This is some sort of dark witch. That This is a dark witch, a coven of people, or whatever the fuck this is, man. This high priestess in reverse, definitely somebody here. with. This is like giving the doctor and infertility issues. The high priestess in reverse, again, is somebody with infertility issues. <laughs> wow. Somebody could have been doing womb magic. They getting ready to get this. They getting ready to get really, really fucked up for this right here. If they think they're getting away with this, they got another thing coming. This is somebody here that's out of control. They have outbursts here. Definitely. What's the high priestess in reverse? I feel like with the high priestess in reverse too, a big secret is coming out. Your spirit team is working behind the scenes to help you get clarity about something and who the fuck these people are. What's the high priestess in reverse? Yeah, the sun. They're getting exposed. Like I said, Leo energy. Definitely another card of fertility. What's the high priestess in reverse with the sun? Okay, and the fool. Yeah. So if you're doubting your intuition a little bit, don't doubt your intuition because what you're feeling is true is them. Is that person, it, whatever, whoever comes to your mind, honey, is them hexing and cursing and doing everything else. Okay. You're getting ready to go into some sort of new beginning where you need your fertility. Somebody has been, somebody's working behind the scenes to cause infertility. That's really sad. What's the hermit? This reading wants to piss me off. What's the hermit? So there's, there could be some soul searching that you're doing or you're just moving in silence. What's the hermit? Or you've done a lot of deep shadow work or that's what you're doing. Yeah, the eight of swords. <laughs> What's the hermit with the eight of swords? This is somebody here. Yeah, a group. Six of wands, the devil poking out and the seven of wands. This is a group of people with fucking mental disorders. All of them. All of them are fucking crazy. Just period. These are a group of people trying to keep you stuck and bind you and all kind of shit, man. Who shall? That's deep. I didn't even think it was going to come out so clear. I felt it when I, when I got to the first few cards. Something just dawned on me because I seen a... Something dawned on me about infertility. Queen of Swords in reverse is infertile. Empress in reverse is infertile. Okay. Somebody here was under some sort of illusion that who they was with was the real divine feminine and they're not. That that's not their that's not their real twin or something like that. Like I, I don't know, but <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, third party situation, yeah, talking shit. I feel like it's third third parties here. What else, spirit? Ex lover. <laughs> For some of you, this is your ex, yeah. Witchcraft. I can't show this card because this they gonna fucking flag me. But yeah, someone could be using magic to get their way to cause chaos. Chaos agent here. Yeah, this is an ex of yours. If you wanted to know, <laughs> like you was actually with this person for quite a quite a while. Okay, like they set you up here. They sacrifice you. Yeah, no limits, and they keep doing it. Nothing can stop them. Continues on without restriction, going their own way. Or this is you. You're not going to be stopped or whatever. You can have Capricorn in your chart, your chart. For some of you, I just heard. Yeah, keep shining. Your light irritates their toxic demons, period. Who does ex-lover? Yeah, distorted masculine that's crying over you. They're a fucking obsessed creep. What's ex-lover? What's ex-lover? Blocked, period. Yeah, because you blocked them. <laughs> Given no access, no updates out of the loop. What's ex-lover here? One more. With blocks. 
or this is them trying to block you yeah a star <laughs> yeah that's a they're a psycho and they're jealous and they're stalking period somebody's a damn loser <laughs> They're a loser for sure. Being popular, very successful, having a platform, being recognized and known. They don't want you to get no kind of shine. They don't want you to succeed or anything. This is a jealous ass bitch. This whole group of fucking losers. What else? And it's coming out too. I'm so happy. So we can all move on as a collective. Because <clears throat> it's a lot of people's story if it's coming out like this. It's say meeting your match. Yeah, unable to compete or fight against someone because they are just as good as you. I feel like you've met somebody. You've met your match. Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Four of Wands. For some of you, it's your twin. It's, for some of you, it's your twin here. And they're trying to compete with that person, but you're going to definitely want to lose. Yeah, high key in reverse. Always drawing attention. Very obvious, assertive, very public. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're low key right now. You're quiet. You're not saying anything because you know that somebody's around trying to control you. And they act like this person here is a fucking loser. Because I feel like for some of you, if you have kids with this person, you could be seeing this person when y'all got to... Um, you know, uh, swap your children or whatever the case may be. This person here is a fucking pussy. This is a damn loser. They can't even look you in the face because they know that they did something dumb. 939 on the clock. They can't even fucking approach you the right way. Fucking clown. Yeah, social media stalker. You fucking creep. You obsessed. Loser. <laughs> like, I'm so irritated. I don't even know what to call their punk ass. Always on your socials, keeping tabs on you, always viewing your updates. Yeah, now they ain't got nothing to see, you stupid bitch. They ain't nothing to see, you fucking dummy. Yeah, What's, what else? Yeah, balling, period. Having a luxurious lifestyle, wanting and having the most expensive things in life, pockets full of narcissists, clearly. Inflated sense of self-importance, complete disregard for another's feelings, always needing attention, intense house. Yeah, that's that Capricorn. Somebody got Capricorn in their chart to say, this situation involves someone's ambition, their motives, their rank in society, achievements, accolades, and social class. What's this narcissist card? So somebody here just superficial. They've been trying to use you to come up in some way. Yeah, feeling trapped. Feeling like there is no way to improve a situation. Could be feeling suffocated in a circumstance or relationship. And they are. And that's what the fuck they get because now they got to keep up this lie to, imp to impress other people. They got to keep running with the lie that you're the villain. <laughs> that you're you, you the one that's doing something or da 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 da. Like a true narcissist. What's a narcissist spirit? What's narcissist with feeling trapped? So now they feel stuck in this bullshit ass. Yeah, toxic ways. <laughs> and they put on the poker face. Like I said, the fact that they're addicted to you. This person has a mental disorder. They do. Something is wrong with them. Something is really wrong with them here. <laughs> seriously bad habits addictions can't stay away from harmful substances <laughs> who child what else <laughs> they should really be ashamed of themselves yeah split personality acting differently around you and the next person not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people yeah because you're a fucking loser and you're fake and you're phony you got to keep up some sort of fucking lie whoever this is they throw the rock and they hide their hand this is not even the person that you thought it was for some of you is what I'm hearing. It's, it's another person that you would never think that would do that shit. Oh, they did it. And I feel like they're close to you. Slacker. Someone who avoids doing work, prioritizes doing nothing, takes shortcuts on the job. Yeah. They just, whenever they fall short, they go sacrifice your ass. That's what they do. Every time. And bitch, this time they're going to do it and it's not going to work. It's going to backfire. They're going to lose every fucking thing. This time, bitch. This time. I'm pretty sure you've lost a lot any other time, but it's going to hit harder this time. Because you fucking with somebody in their life purpose. You need to move out of the way. It says snooping. Always in your business. Ask questions about you looking over your shoulder for deeds. What's snooping? For some of you guys that just heard, they could be asking your children questions. <laughs> hater. Yeah, fucking hater. Wants to knock you down to size. A person that simply cannot be happy for your success. Points out your flaws to make them feel better. Fucking insecure. Low self-esteem. Have an ass. Dummy. Distorted feminine. Fear of conflict, hypersensitive, rejection of rationality, too receptive, waiting for things to happen. What else? So there is a distorted feminine here. Damn. One-sided love, choices. Yeah, somebody chose this person because <laughs> they thought they was going to get something, I guess. I don't know. But it says having options, the ball is in someone's court, time to be decisive. Whistleblower, 
someone can't keep secrets, runs off and tells your business, exposed information. I feel like this person exposed you to the wrong person. This person here thought that they was doing something like to make you jealous. And they didn't know that they was laying down with a fucking evil hoe. I feel like whoever they're with is evil as fuck. And they're in this karmic masculine is what I'm getting. They're too fucking weak to stand up for themselves against this bitch that they stuck with. And they belong with each other. They're both weak as fuck. Yeah, copying your style <laughs> in reverse. Someone can't do that because they're a false feminine. They were using you the whole time to manifest off of. They know that damn well they can't manifest off this bitch anything. They can't manifest nothing off of them. Nothing. They don't have anything to offer now. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Someone likes how you dress, talk, look, etc. So much that they try to act like you. Yeah, energy drainer. Controlling. <laughs> Child, what else? <laughs> what else for it? So I can go. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Projecting. Of course they are. Pointing out the actions of someone else, but really they are the things that you do. I told you. Yeah, false twin flame. And then we have disappointment. <laughs> <sighs> things not going in your favor someone or something has caused sorrow a trick trickster yeah marriage now somebody's married to someone that's irresponsible so now they're just trying to cause agent i said cause agent <laughs> this card said chaos agent but i'm talking fast and i'm because i'm upset but now they're trying to cause chaos they're trying to be a chaos agent in your fucking life because they married the wrong person or they're fucking miserable and somebody's doing fucking dark magic on a damn earth angel <laughs> bitch just know what is this false twin flame card? Six house, yeah, Virgo. <laughs> what someone does routinely, their responsibilities, their skills, and training, their employment or job. What's false twin flame? <laughs> Queen B, yeah, in reverse. Bossing up, getting that bag, creating abundance and a legacy. Yeah, that's not, that's not. They ain't getting ready to get nothing. Not a damn thing. Yeah, truth unveiled. Truth is coming out. What's disappointment? Now somebody upset. Yeah, happiness in reverse. Happiness is here on its way. Expressing gratitude, please with life. Yeah, they're, they're really miserable. What's projecting? <laughs> What's projecting? Yeah, high vibes. And you don't give a fuck. People are talking good shit about you. And yeah, you're going into your divine union. You can have earth in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Taurus, uh, Gemini, Cusper. Gem, gems. But yeah, people are talking good shit about you. You're getting ready to go into your fucking union or that's where you're at. And you're getting ready to get married. And be low-key about it. <laughs> Somebody is looking stupid as fuck, you fucking dummy. This is a damn dumbass. But... <sighs> How pathetic, you damn... This is a clown ass. <sighs> now you stuck with a bitch that can't do shit for you. That's what you get. And that's what you get if you're watching, you fucking clown. But this was your reading, Gemini. I hope that this resonated. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you guys don't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.